guys, Bungie surprised me with this nondescript brown package. Hey, take me with you. Now, little did I know that inside was a secret that would take me three hours to solve. Yes, I'm that dumb. So here's what I was sent, an early look at the final shape collector's edition. So why did this give me such a headache? Well, you'll see soon enough. <laughs> Okay, so here's the front of the box, here's the right side of the box, a cheeky glimpse at the left side of the box, and here's the back. As you can see, lots of interesting goodies that we'll be looking at in this video, including an exclusive emblem, and of course, that tower secret. And here's what the box looks like once you remove the outer sleeve, and yes, I am filming this in my kitchen, because that's where the most natural light in my house is, so you can see my video better. You're effing welcome. Okay, so let's crack this open and peruse the contents within. Now, the first thing you'll see is the D1 tower. Now, Destiny veterans will recognize this image from the promotional artwork Bungie used way back when they launched Destiny 1 a decade ago. Man, time flies. So yeah, a nice nostalgic nod to the past, but also a glimpse into the future because we'll be revisiting the D1 Tower in the final shape. Yes, we're coming full circle. Okay, let's now look at the Collector's Edition physical goodies. Now, there's some really nice fan service and unique world building going on here. Bungie wants you to feel as though you're a guardian receiving important documents before you embark on your mission to confront the witness. This is a letter from Ido, Mithrax's daughter, explaining what the two items in this box are. Now, the first of those items is a top secret document with important intel collected by Ido herself for Vanguard use only, but it also contains some other cool stuff, so let's have a look at it. The book basically describes how terrifying and powerful the witness is. Ido has searched the solar system looking for clues about its origins to help you understand what you're going up against. Tucked inside the pocket here, you'll find this cloth patch. You'll also find an emblem code in here too, which I believe is exclusive to this collector's edition. You'll find the code on the back of this thing. And and here's what the emblem looks like in game. It's called Gateway. Now, the next item is an autograph book signed by pretty much everyone you've ever met in the game, wishing you, in their own unique way, good luck in your mission to defeat the witness. Now, highlights include a selfie of Ido and her dad, Mithrax, a feather from Hawthorne's bird, Lewis. The name's Hawthorne, and this is Lewis. Bruh. There's also messages and pictures from the human children of the last city. Now, I'm guessing Bungie employees got their kids to draw the various images found here, which is actually a really nice little touch. And check it out, Ido even found this photo of Cade Ikora and Zavala taken on the farm during the Red War. Even the city's spicy ramen chop has got in on the action. They've stuffed a packet full of coupons for you to use whenever you're feeling hungry. How nice of them. Yeah, there's loads of them, and each one gets you a free meal, which includes one order of ramen and one beverage. Now, now, the final layer in this box contains a replica of the tower and a secret that was far too complicated for my tiny little simian brain. But first, a word from this video's glorious sponsor, War Thunder. War Thunder. It's free to play on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. You control tanks, fighter jets, helicopters, and warships. Literally thousands of military war machines from every major nation. So yes, you can go full on Maverick and pull off some crazy Top Gun shit. And there's three game modes to get stuck into. Arcade mode for beginners, easy to access fast-paced carnage, simulator mode for those who want to experience hardcore war, and my favorite realistic mode, which strikes a balance between the two. And check it out, for new and returning players, you get this massive bonus pack of loot that includes the exclusive vehicle decoration Eagle of Valor, 100,000 silver lines, and seven days access to the premium account. All you gotta do is click the link in the pinned comment or video description and download the game for free. Okay, so let's get back to the unboxing. As you can see inside is a replica of the tower and two mini figures, Ikora and Zavala. But where's the third figure? Where's Cade? He's not here. Because look at this. All the promotional pictures and videos clearly show three mini figures, including Cade. So why can't I find him? Now, I searched the collector's edition box like a million times and I even googled to see if anyone else had the same problem and I found nothing. Which is unsurprising really because at the time of this unboxing, the collector's edition is not yet available to the public. Now, the only thing I did find is this video about the collector's edition posted on Bungie's official Destiny YouTube channel. The video is two Bungie employees talking about all the stuff that comes in the package. Now listen to what they have to say. You get the tower and then there are actual figures of the Vanguard mentors that accompany that architectural model. And there's a lot of like hidden messages and hidden things. There's uh, gonna be some fun surprises. We're always trying to push the envelope. And so we've been playing a lot with magnetic locks and uh, sound effects, yeah. lights. Now, the Bungie guys mentioned fun surprises and magnetic locks, so I started playing around with the figures. Now, if you place a figure at the front of the tower, you get some dialogue. 
do love me together. And I chorus says something too. We stand behind you. And if you put them together, they say other stuff. Let us help you, Gloria. What do you need? I need you to stop messing about and tell me where Cade is. Now, I eventually figured out that if you place the Zavala figure at the back of the tower in this specific place, it unlocks a secret compartment that houses Cade. And this will only work if you use the Zavala figure, not Ikora, because, you know, Zavala is an effing gangster. And yes, Cade also has his own dialogue. Hey, uh... And that's not all. Bungie's releasing the free content drop into the light on April 9th. It's going to deliver new game content available for all players throughout the months of April and May in preparation for the launch of the final shape in June. And if you can't wait until then, Bungie's going to give us three live streams to showcase this new content. The first one's on March 19th, the second one's on March 26th, and the third is on April 2nd. So yeah, we're almost there, boys. And again, thanks to War Thunder for sponsoring this video. It's free to play on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. If you click the link in the pinned comment or the video description you get this massive bonus pack for free and it includes some of the game's premium vehicles now this loot is only available for a limited time so yeah feel free to grab it while you can